Today we're installing the LOD Destroyer Series front winch bumper on the Stingray Giveaway Gladiator. Well, if we can get it unpackaged, that is. Stay tuned. And welcome back to another video in the 2021 Stingray Giveaway Gladiator Build Series. And yes, LOD takes their packaging very seriously. Now for us, it's one of those love-hate things. We absolutely love how well packaged their products are, but we absolutely hate having to tear the box completely apart to get this bumper out. Now the takeaway is, is no matter what you order from LOD, more than likely it's gonna show up on your doorstep in good shape and in one piece. Now that we've got this thing unpackaged, it's time to install it, but you're gonna to need to remove your factory front bumper. And if you haven't done that yet, or you wanna see how that's done, check out our video on how to remove your factory front bumper. Now your next step is to lay out all the hardware. And this is one of those things that LOD does right. They include hardware call out sheets in their instructions. So you can lay out all your nuts, bolts, and washers in full size on the call out sheets, and you'll know what each one is follow along in the instructions and you'll know where they go and what they do. And well, this is something we just wish more manufacturers would follow LOD's lead on. Now for the fog lights, we're just gonna reuse the factory halogen fog lights. You'll wanna take a quarter inch drill bit and open up the inner hole. Then it's gonna sit onto the LOD fog light bracket now we'll grab the quarter 20 button head screws, throw just a dab of blue Loctite on, one washer, and that's gonna go in through that hole you just enlarged into the bracket. Washer and nut on the backside. Now that we've got our fog lights in, it's time to put the bumper on the Jeep. And if you look on each side, you've got four slotted holes. They're gonna line up with the bumper mounting holes on the Jeep. So let's prep our hardware and get this thing installed. Then we want to grab a 11 16 wrench, throw a piece of tape on the inside of it. Then we can grab our nut and that's going to hold that nut nice and tight. We're going to slide it up in, go to your top bolt first. Now we want to take a tape measure and just make sure we've got this bumper evened up side to side. Uh, that's pretty dang close. And now we can tighten all our hardware. We're going to grab our Fairlead bolts, throw a little blue Loctite on them, and then the washers. We're going to come through the back side into the Fairlead, and then the worn chrome nut goes on the outside.
Grab our prepped Fairlead mount, set that in place. And then in goes our winch. And we're gonna sandwich that Fairlead plate between the winch and the bumper. Run the winch mounting bolts up from below. Make sure our winch is centered up and even. And then we can torque everything down. All right, for installing the winch rope on our Xeon winch, we want our winch rope, and you want to take the red end, and that's got this little black loop here at the end. And then you want to find your winch rope key, and that's this teardrop shaped piece. And that's actually what slides in this end and is gonna lock everything into the drum. This is very secure, the most secure way to mount a winch rope out on the market. Now, if we look up here on the drum itself, on one side, you're gonna see just a small hole. And if we rotate the drum around, you see a much larger slot. Now we'll wanna take our soapy water and wet this loop here at the end of the winch rope and get it in there really good. You want it soaked in there. We're gonna squirt some down in that through passage, run our winch rope in behind the winch. Now in your kit, you'll have a little loop of stainless steel wire. We want to run that through the rope. We're going to feed it through the small hole. Now we're going to grab a pair of big needle nose pliers, but you can even use a little stick or anything you can just wrap this wire around and get a good grip on it. Now we want to pull it through the slot. Then we're going to grab our rope, we're going to pull it around and give it a good tug. And we want to spool it back around and make sure that that rope is sitting down flush with the drum. Next up is to grab our remote and start spooling your rope in. We're gonna take our worn supplied hook and then slide the pin in. And you always wanna make sure that your little retaining cotter pin is on the back side of the hook. Now for the optional LOD skid plate, we got to start by installing the LOD crossbar. And we want to use the original equipment bolts that held on that little thin sheet metal crash bar that went across between the two frame horns. And you would have found that when you first removed your factory bumper. We're going to take those factory bolts, throw a little blue Loctite on them and run those in. All right, we want to take the four smaller button head bolts and throw some blue on them, along with a washer. And skid plate goes up. The LOD bumper is already threaded for these button head bolts. And you've got four of them across the front. Then we're gonna take the larger bolts and they're gonna come up through the bottom of the skid plate up into that new crossbar we put in. And we're done. 
Now that we've got the LOD Destroyer Series, a shorty front winch bumper, and the optional skid plate installed, and of course that worn Xeon 10S, well, we've completely changed the look of this Gladiator. It now looks like it's ready for some off-road adventure. And of course, with that worn Xeon 10S winch, it's ready for some recovery. Now there are a few things we want to go over on this Destroyer Series bumper, so let's take a closer look. Now these LOD bumpers are built from plate steel and they're designed to be used and abused off-road. They are available coated in black or bare steel, so if you prefer to do your own coating or want to have it color matched to your Jeep, make sure you order in bare steel. They are designed to work with both the Blue Ox and Roadmaster tow bars. Just make sure to get the proper adapters and tie in brackets. The Destroyer Series bumpers have tabs for mounting lights on top. You can mount individual lights or you can mount up to a 10 inch light bar. The LOD bumpers also have that standard four and a half by 10 inch winch mounting pattern. So they will fit most common winches on the market. Lastly, LOD offers the Destroyer Series winch bumpers in three different widths, a full width, a mid width, and the shorty width that we have installed here. Of course, we have them here at Northridge 4x4. Check the description box below for links to get one for your Jeep. So that's it for this video. And remember, if you want a chance to win the Stingray Giveaway Gladiator, click that link down in the description box below for the giveaway Jeeps. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you again soon.